so two annotations at the rate mock and at the rate spy if you have done extensive unit testing uh, got deep into this one so you are aware of both of these annotations so this is one of the real incident that happened with me uh, it got me confused for a couple of hours that is why i started uh, like that is why i thought to share this one and see if anyone has uh, faced this issue or if you are running this one so this is the solution of this one so the what was the problem object mapper is the class that i was using an object mapper has two methods that is convert value convert value is there and write value as a string there so in my test case uh, so this is the example in here so this is the object mapper that i mocked this one and uh, in my test methods that uh, convert value is there so this is the one that i mocked it in here and this this work fine so but in here test json assert equal name in this one i did not mock anything so this is failing in here so this is where the problem occurs so if you have mocked the class and you have and you want uh, this method all the some of the methods of to behave in certain way so you have to tell it the way that it is written in here right otherwise it is not going to work properly so test fails why that is the only reason so it, at the rate mock it doesn't work that way but if i have the use case that i want one method to mock other one i want the actual business logic to be executed that case spy annotation comes into picture so this is the rescue in here so in this case this one will solve pass in here so uh, this is what like uh, best practice at the rate mock and at the rate spy and this is the medium article that i'm going to link in the comment and description itself go ahead and check more about it and let me know in the comment section if you have come across uh, the confusion about mock and spy uh, in your uh, like experience with writing the unit test and integration test so and further to the point if you uh listening to this one uh so that actual task in hand was to have 100 percent unit test unit test coverage for one of the service that is where this thing started coming because uh up to 80 percent 90 percent code coverage is fine but when you have to reach 100 percent coverage you have to see each and every line that is why like more complexity just start coming so that is when i, I faced this issue Okay, so yeah, let me know in the comment if you face this issue or not. So yeah.